There was just one spot left to fill on the right field wall at Principal Park, reserved for the winner of the 4A championship game between number four seed Iowa City West and number six seed Cedar Rapids Kennedy. This game was really no contest from the start as Austin Christensen took the mound for Kennedy in what was already a dominant tournament for him. They have 10 stolen bases and it's cut on and missed by Neil Matson and he'll head back to the dugout, a strikeout victim. Christensen will set and the one two. Cut on and foul tipped into the glove of the catcher Hunter and that will be the inning. So a good inning from Christensen on the mound, two strikeouts. Christensen would also get the scoring going after a leadoff single by Terrell Sykes. Sykes gets his lead. That's a high fly ball at the center field. Heinrich is on his horse out there. That's going to be over his head, and that'll go to the wall. Sykes will round third. He's going to come in to score. No throw home. And Kennedy leads this game one to nothing in the bottom of the first. And the pitch. That's a hard line drive to second, and that'll be through the hole for a base hit as Christensen will come home to score. Devin Jacobus has himself an RBI single, opening up the lead for Kennedy to two to nothing here in the bottom of the first inning. Iowa City West would get out of the bases loaded jam in one of the few highlights for the Trojans. Looper, all the other ones hit very solidly as BJ Cunningham hits the first pitch to second baseman Moore, flips it to Ewing, and back to Bonner for the 4-6-3 double play. So that was very crucial defense there by Iowa City West. Kennedy kept the hot bat going in the bottom of the second. And two left field for a hit. That'll score one, and the runner will stop at third. RBI single by Griffin Michael. It's 3 nothing Cougars. Ground ball up the middle. Shortstop steps on second. Wildly throw to first is safe, and a run will score. T.J. Mitchell scoring from third, and it's 5 nothing Cougars. He lines it into left field, and that's trouble. It's over the left fielder's head. Flynn, one run scores. Here comes runner number two. He will score, and it's now a 7-0 Cougar lead. I believe that actually cleared the bases there, Jeff. You are correct. Yeah, that is 8-0. Okay. You're correct. Yeah. It is 8-0. The, the third runner was just right behind. Cody Bell was on first. He was just right behind David Yancey trailing him, so it looked like only two, but three runners come across to score as Cunningham gets his revenge here after grounding into the double play to end inning one. Clears the bases with a double here, and Kennedy jumps out to an 8 to nothing lead here. Iowa City West's lone run came in the top of the fourth on a solo home run by Sean Moore, who also hit a grand slam earlier in the tournament. The pitch to, by Christensen is fly ball, deep right field. That ball is well hit. That ball is off the top of the wall. And Moore will round first on his way to second. He's not going to stop there. It's going to be a stand-up triple for Sean Moore. He missed a home run by, no, he hit a home run. That is a home run. 8-1 now as West has their first run of the game. With only three runs left to score to enforce the 10-run rule, Kennedy's B.J. Cunningham got the scoring going again with his fourth RBI. Deem yourself, I should say. Absolutely. There's a liner into right field, base hit. That'll score Yancey from third. It is now 9-1 Kennedy. Three and two. Here it comes. There go the runners. Swing and a fly ball. Short left field's going to fall in for a hit. Here comes Cunningham. It's an RBI double for Terrell Sykes. And it's now 10 to 1 Kennedy. 1 0 from Shrek as he comes set. Here it is. It's a ground ball to second. Fielded by Sean Moore. He bobbles it. The throw is late to first. And that will be the ball game, Jeff. You can't help but feel for Sean Moore right there. Congratulations, nonetheless, to the Kennedy Cougars. They just flat out dominated this 4A game, and there's no question who who the best team in 4A is this year. Absolutely, and they were the sixth seed in this tournament. They'll now finish at 32 and 10 and hoist their first state title as there is a mob on the field out in front of second base. 